Okay, so um, we're out here today at uh, 116 uh, Settlers Court, and it's uh, it's, a, it's not really a great day uh, to be out here looking at this property because it's raining. Um, but this is a beautiful property, so I'm about to take you inside and let's take a look at it, and uh, hopefully you like this property. So let's go inside right now and take a look. Okay, before we go inside, I just want to point out that the landscaping is really nice in this house. It did a good job landscaping it. Uh, I'm going to show you the backyard here uh, pretty soon. It's got a decent, uh, pretty nice frontal elevation. I like the stone accent. So, but really nice job on the, on the landscaping. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, so it's the open uh, floor concept. Uh, open floor plans, as you see. So lots of wide open space in here. And as you can tell, this is like the formal living area. And I guess I'll just go ahead and show you the powder room right here. So this is the powder room. And it's pretty big actually. It's got a, it's set off. It's got this little foyer area, which is kind of neat into the powder room. Um, the stairs to the, to all the bedrooms are right here, but I'm gonna show you downstairs really quickly. So they're using this as like a play area for the kids. Um, but you know, this is kind of like a flex space. There's a lot you can do with it, I suppose. Um, but lots of space on the, on the first floor, just great for hosting, I think, gathering, so. And if you look in the kitchen, you can see how they're currently, <laughs> currently uh, using this little dinette area. So the agent that's doing the open house did a really good job with the flowers and everything. So uh, nice granite countertops, if you like this color. Plenty of cabinet space, deep sink. Um, not just a backsplash, but this whole, on the entire wall back here, it's got the backsplash colors on, it's pretty nice. Um, does the fridge come back? It does. Okay, fridge. All the appliances, including the washer and dryer. All right, all, all appliances, including, including washer and dryer, convey with this home. Check out this, you can, you can actually step into this pantry, which is pretty nice. So, if you ever just want to get away from your kids, you can step in there and close the door, I suppose. <laughs> all right, so real quick, I'm gonna take you into the garage. Oh, I gotta find the light. Whoa, lots of stuff in the garage. So they're moving out. But this is a two car garage. And this is actually, I'm in an open house, so I'm gonna try to avoid bothering anybody. Let's go back here. All right, and then real quick, I'm gonna run you upstairs and show you everything that's up there. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> All right, so let's go up here. Hardwoods up here as well. This is like a little open um, landing. I like this office space. There's a linen closet right here. And then there are bath, there's a bedroom right here. I like this little nook. So you can look outside the windows and sit there and read a book or whatever. Secondary bedroom, decent size. Feel free to pause the video if you want to take a look at it in more detail. Another secondary bedroom, piece of closet, a third secondary bedroom, and they're all about the same size. Good size, good size closet from these two. And then the secondary bath. I like their decoration. Double vanity. Huh. This has the option of being more energy efficient or more efficient with your water, I should say. That's pretty nice. All right, and then the master. So the master is upstairs on this one. Lots of space in the master. Lots of space in the master. So, I believe this is a king size bed and there's plenty of room up here. So no problems with that. I think they even have a fridge up here. So they got a fridge and the master. Okay, this is a master bath. Lots of room in this master bath. Double vanity. Um, no Johnny closet, so the toilet is out in the open. Uh, this is a unique. It's not. There's no bath up here, but it's a huge shower. So I really like the tile on that. It's super nice. And then another little linen nook, as you should call it. And of course the master closet, which is there's plenty of space in here. Oh, I like that. Just got a big thing. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So plenty of space in here. And then you could come in here with a uh, with a chair and just sit and hang out if you want. So anyway, that's the home. 
I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll talk to you soon. I want to point out, um, I don't know if you have a dog, I'm guessing you probably don't, but uh, I wanted to point out they got this little deal in the back door here, the sliding glass door where you can let the pet in and out, which is really neat. So. All right, so we're in the uh, backyard, and what you're gonna find in these neighborhoods around here, especially right up on top of the lake, is that the builder is capitalizing on the fact that this is near the lake, and this neighborhood has lake access. So this particular uh, neighborhood, just like most of them around here, does not offer a lot of yard, but it's adequate. So there's, you know, you can do stuff in the yard. It's not super tiny. I will tell you what I like about a yard that's not overwhelmingly large is that you uh, don't have a lot of you know, time in the maintenance, the maintaining of the yard. So anyway, this is the yard. Uh, I've already shown you the, or the backyard. I've already shown you the front. And uh, if you've enjoyed this video and you have any questions, then give me a call. CJ Jeffco from Coldwell Banker Realty, 803-667-5950. Thank you. So there's not really anything on the other side of the house, but on this side of the house, they've got this uh, little fenced-in nook where you can put, store your garbage containers. It's actually got a concrete pad. I thought I'd share that with you. That's pretty neat, and there's some extra siding. I'm not sure where that came from, because there's no siding missing on the house, so. Very interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna drive around the neighborhood here, and uh, just kinda, so you can see how nice the homes are. Um, just about every single house in the neighborhood has a an accent of some kind, either brick or stone. So, just to let you see, this is Plymouth Pass. Uh, going on to Plymouth Pass Drive. This is a Plymouth Passage, obviously. This one actually, this, this house right here, I like the trees. So, the interior of my vehicle is not a very good sight, but look at that, that's a nice house. So it's very nice landscape. You can tell that um, pretty much everybody in the neighborhood has a, a, a sense of pride of ownership, and taking care of their homes, which is very important for property values. So if you ever to buy a house in a neighborhood like this and you're, you are intending to rent it, you're going to want to make sure that the rental contract stipulates that they must maintain the yard or pay you to do so. And you could even put in there that if they fail to maintain the, the property, you know, like it should be maintained and you can get into all the details on that if you want, and I probably would recommend you do that, um, then you automatically up their rent by $100 a month and start maintaining on their behalf. People don't like, but if you tell them that in the front, in the, you know, on the front end, you make that very clear, then the, uh, the individuals that are staying in it will be more likely to do that and take care of it. So, anyway, as you see, really, really nice homes. All the frontal elevations are very appealing, very, very attractive, and um, great location. It does have access to the lake, so it's a neighborhood for you. Give me a call, 803-667-5950.